All right, everybody, just got fresh out of that shower. I have a lot of content here uh, stacked up today, tomorrow, and uh, the days going forward. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening. Elemental Dungeons have sick updates. Same goes for Bladers Reaper. These guys are cooking, and that means I have to get into the kitchen as well and cook myself. So, uh, yeah, we have no lights in the background today. Uh, I have to, sh uh, like, take care of my eyes a little bit. The flashy colors sometimes uh, hurt my head. Um, we got, uh, let me go into the shop here, and we got Reaper um, Awakened. And uh, I want to show you this. I wanted to make this video a little earlier, but uh, finally I can do this now. This is so awesome. Uh, there's some really, really interesting skills in there. First of all, let's talk about the ones that you potentially... Oh, I always do that to the for the god, you know. Uh, potentially can switch out because this is how it works. You go into... If you have it immortalized uh, uh, or if you have the permanent orb or something like that, then you can uh, uh, switch out the awakened ones with the normal ones. And this is what people say is the best setup. So you have awaken, normal, awaken, normal, awaken, awaken. You can also switch out... Uh, actually, the uh, transformation to normal as well, because that's supposed to do more damage. I think they need to uh, maybe fix that, I guess. Because the permanent, uh, the permanent, the awakened version should actually do more damage. But uh, this is the this is uh, the setup people talk about, by the way. Uh, that was, by told, uh, I think it was FXNN or it was Cyrox. One of these guys, Cyrox, Cyrox, one of these two uh, told me about this, so... Uh, yeah, thank you for that uh, a lot for the for the heads up here. So we're gonna do a little bit of soul steal here because that actually is a really really awesome skill. Uh, you can do that from from the get go from the far, which is really really strong uh, because uh, Reaper actually finally becomes that uh, part. But actually, let me switch it back to fully awakened because you're here here probably for that as well. So uh, let's go uh, awaken mode, awaken mode, and awaken mode. We're gonna talk about all of these. All right, so we have the death meter up. Here. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to bring that death meter up in here, but uh, let's start off with soul steel This is Reaper by the way. I'm gonna show you uh, it's 500 out of 500 It's fully leveled up uh, because Reaper man just awesome by the way You can pair this up with the Reaper rings uh, and then you can just do the normal attack instead of uh, The death clap and then you can actually get your minions out You can up to four of them and you can reheal these guys Which is really really overpowered and if you have it even corrupted that's even better, but anyways, uh, let's talk about it so we have Soul Steel here. Uh, this is a very nice move. Uh, it, it does damage over time, which is crazy. Here it clocks in at about 169 uh, damage. Okay, uh, and let's see uh, with Aura on if it changes or not. It does not. So it does about 169k. I would have hoped for it to do a little more damage, honestly. But it looks awesome and it's ranged, which is really awesome. Let's test the range on that bad boy. You can see uh, you can actually be really, really far away. This is awesome for some boss hunts in general. I think this one's not going to proc. It still is. Wow. The range is quite intense, honestly. The range is quite intense. So you can see this still hits. So that's quite awesome. Honestly, this is really, really cool. Uh, we're going to do some gameplay in... Wow. What the... Buggeroonies. What is going on? Like, does this still hit? Nah, okay. This is finally where it caps. Uh, then we have the death clap, which looks like this. You can hold it down and then uh, release it. And it does immense amounts of damage here as well. We're going to do that again. I actually have a pizza in the oven, so I have to be a little careful here. Um, yeah, there we go. That's about 419k. Very nice balance. Does more damage than Soul Steel. I think Soul Steel should still do a little more, but you can actually uh, ca cast it quite often. As you can see, the cooldown is actually quite fast. Then we have Spirit Burst, uh, which looks like this. You can actually hold it down. Don't know if there's any difference. I actually like the combination between Spirit Burst and Soul Steel, uh, which does that. And obviously, that is really, really nice as well. So if you combine these two, you can do some nice damage. And it's also, again, uh, uh, ranged which is awesome so you could just throw these guys in there and do pretty pretty nice that's about a half a mil really really awesome then we have the death uh, grasp which grabs the enemy usually and then spins around it has a lot uh, a lot of um, damage that it can do and it has a huge range as well so very nice as well then we switch to the grim reaper which looks like this which starts off with pretty nice damage around himself Oh, I have a headache. Wow. Um, and yeah, that's pretty cool as well. Doesn't do too much damage though. 
mm, as you can see here but it is still good still viable very lo it looks nice then there's the reanimation um, if you actually take out enemies uh, their souls will be there then you press the left mouse button and you can reanimate them and have them as your gang so to speak and they follow you around and do damage I personally think it's not that strong uh, you can uh, just exchange it with the other ones the Reaper uh, normal Reaper uh, Reaper um, guys that follow you around it is much stronger so I don't know if it's really that usable but whoever wants to do that is very fine to do so I enjoy this skill um, in the next few videos tomorrow probably I'm gonna do some gameplay with it gonna show you some tips and tricks uh, I hope you enjoyed the showcase and I'll see you in the next one peace out